Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and before we get started with this video tutorial, I just want to let you know that the demonstration blog for this video uses WordPress version 3.0.4 along with the thesis theme version 1.8. Now you definitely, most definitely, do need to be using WordPress version 3.0.1 or later in order to follow along with this video tutorial. You do not need to be using the thesis theme. Okay, let's get started. Hi, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and this is the second of a two-part video teaching you how to use WordPress 3.0 menu feature to create a nav menu or nav bar across the top of your WordPress blog as you can see here. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to create a tab that will link to a category in your blog and I'm going to create a couple of more tabs that will link to outside websites and blogs. So to get started, let me click on this tab in my browser. You can see I'm already logged into the dashboard of my blog. I'm going to scroll down and right here under appearance there is a menus link. I'm going to click on that. And here we are, you can see this is the starter menu right up there. And you can see over here as well, it says starter menu. So first of all, let me add a couple of custom links. This is going to go to my jupitergym.com website. I like to put that trailing slash there. That is the correct way to do it. If you don't do it, it will still work. The label that's going to appear in the navigation menu is Jupiter Gym. I'm going to click Add to Menu. And if I can scroll down, you can see it's been added right there. And now the next custom link I'm going to add has a longer URL, so I'm just going to go directly to it. Click here, press Control-A to select all, or Command-A on a Mac, Control-C to copy, or Command-C on a Mac. I am going to delete the HTTP colon slash slash because I did copy that from my Google Chrome browser. Um, I'm going to now press Control V as in Victor or Command V if you're in a Mac. I'm going to click outside of that yellow box with the yellow edge or gold edge and that's to deselect it. You can see I only have one HTTP in the front. Let me just call this a marketing team. Click Add to Menu. And the last thing I'm going to do to the menu, the nav menu at the top, is I'm going to add a category. I'm going to click on, we're down here, you can see it says Categories. You can click that down arrow. Click View All. And I want to have one link to my fishing category. You can add more categories. I'm just going to do one for this demonstration. Click Add to Menu. And there you go. First thing I'm going to do is just change this so it's a capital F and says Fishing Tips. And then I'm going to just deselect it, click right there, just click outside, and I can put that down arrow to save me some space. I'm going to move this above the Jupiter Gym, and I want Jupiter Gym to be last, and Marketing Team to be second to last. I'm going to scroll up here, click on Save Menu, that is absolutely critical. Go back up here, click on this tab in my browser, brings me back to the blog. You can see nothing has changed in the nav menu because we have not hit the refresh or reload button in the browser. You can also hit the F5 key like Foxtrot 5. I'm going to click this reload button and there you go. You can see we've got the fishing tips tab is here. We've got the marketing team. I'm going to go over these quickly. Let me click on fishing tips and so you can see what that does. It brings you to a page that lists these are all the posts that are in the fishing category. Now if I click on the marketing team that will bring me to an outside blog and this is my official active blog, Jupiter Gym's marketing team. I hope that you will visit this blog and subscribe so that I'm always, in the month of January, I've got a free video every day. And after January, I'm still going to be uploading free video tutorials for you so you can benefit from that. I'm going to hit the back arrow in my browser, back over to Jupiter Gym. And this will give, this brings you to my official website. This was built with HTML and cascading style sheets, no tables, using CSS or cascading style sheets for the layout. And you can see there's another link back to my 
blog. So I'm going to hit the backspace again a couple of times, hit the home button. One last little thing I want to show you. Back to the dashboard, scroll down, and we're going to go to widgets, and I'm going to click on that down arrow, click on this down arrow to open up sidebar 2. There is a widget, a custom menu widget. You can drag this over here and that's what it looks like. You can just close it. You don't need to save it because we didn't make any changes. Just close that and you don't need to hit save. We're going to go back to my blog and hit refresh. Well, let's just look down here. There's nothing there. So I'm going to hit refresh now. Let me, it didn't show up here, so let me go to in the same blog in another browser. Hit refresh, scroll down, and there you can see the nav bar that we created shows up. And it's not that pretty, it's not that convenient, but if you had a widget or a sidebar that was wider or you had a different theme, that nav menu may look better in the sidebar widget. That's your call. So that's all there is to the second part of the video in adding categories and custom links and a sidebar widget for the custom menu using WordPress 3.0 menu feature. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.